This is an outstanding problem. We are given that f is a cubic polynomial, which means it is of the form ax cubed plus bx square plus cx plus d. Then we are also given that when x is 1, we get f of 1 as 2. When x is 2, we get f of 2 as 4. When x is 3, we get 8. And when x is 4, we get 16. Now the question is, what do we get when we enter 5? You might say it is super easy, and the answer will be 32, because the outputs seem to be doubling each time. But that answer is incorrect. See, one way to solve this problem is by using the fact that when we will substitute x and f of x here one by one, we will get four equations which are just enough to solve for four unknowns a, b, c, and d. Once these coefficients are determined, we can substitute x equals 5 and get the result, or f, of 5. But this method is quite lengthy, as we will have to solve a system of four linear equations to find these coefficients. And after that, we will also have to find f of 5 by substituting x equals 5. So today, I will show you a much smarter and faster way to crack this problem, without finding the polynomial at all. Let me show you what I mean by that. Consider a function f of x equals 3x plus 2. If you plug in successive values of x, like 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on, you will notice that the output will be 2, 5, 8, 11, and so on. Now take the difference between these two, which gives 3, then these two gives 3, then these two gives 3. This means the first differences, which are just the changes between consecutive outputs, are constant. And this is the sign of a linear function. You can say a function is linear if the difference in its output remains the same or constant every time the input increases by 1. Now take a quadratic function, for example something like x squared plus x plus 1. If you again look at the outputs for consecutive values of x, we get these values. Now, let us take the first difference. 3 minus 1 gives 2. Then this gives 4. Then we get 6. And then 8. So, the first differences are no longer constant, but it looks linear, right? Now, if you look at the differences of those differences, which are called the second differences, we get 4 minus 2 as 2, then 6 minus 4 as 2, then 8 minus 6 as 2. So we find that the second differences become constant. Thus, we can say a function is quadratic if the first differences of its output values become linear and the second differences of its output values become constant. In the similar fashion, for a cubic function, the first differences of its output values become quadratic, the second differences of its output values become linear, and the third differences become constant, right? So let us use this fact to solve our given problem. Take the first difference of these values. We get 2, 4, and 8. These differences must be quadratic in nature. Now let us take the second differences of these values, and we get 2 and 4. These differences must be linear in nature. Finally, take the third difference of these values, and we get 2, which must be a constant. Now here comes the magic. Let us trace backwards. If this is linear with a difference of 2, then the next term must be 6, right? Now what will be the next term in this sequence? It will be 14, right? Because 14 minus 8 will give a difference of 6. So what will be this term? It will be 30, because 30 minus 16 will give us a difference of 14, right? Therefore, the result, or f of 5, turns out to be 30. Oh my God! We have found this value without ever finding the actual polynomial. So, if you understood this technique, then let me know in the comments. What will be the value of f of 6? If this video gets 15,000 likes, then I will come up with another awesome trick video like this one. So good!